and the Director of Operations of the Police Service Chief Superintendent Dr. Benjamin Agozo says the withdrawal of security guards from the disqualified presidential candidates conforms to the service's tenets. He assured of restoring the security guards if their presidential status are restored by the Electoral Commission. Monday, October 10, we drew all security guards assigned to the various presidential candidates immediately after the Electoral Commission announced their disqualification. The swift redrawal of the guards have been criticized by a cross-section of the public. But the Director of Operations of the Police Administration, Chief Superintendent Ben Agoto, said the move conforms to the services directives. The principle behind providing the bodyguards in the first place is because they are presidential candidates. And for that matter, they are national figures who will be standing for elections and and for that matter, they also require some kind of protection or additional protection. The view of the police administration is that, and has always been that, once you are elevated to that status, you need some extra protection. So require some kind of protection or additional protection. The view of the police administration is that, and has always been that, once you are elevated to that status, you need some extra protection because you may have to move from one place to another. He said the police service only assigns a guard to a potential candidate if a person is sanctioned by the Electoral Commission. He hinted that the guards would be restored on a condition. We are going by what the EC says, not what anybody says. The EC says these people are not qualified. We have no basis to keep bodyguards there. If the court decides otherwise, or if EC reverses his decision in one way or the other, we will go back and restore those bodyguards to them. Chief Superintendent Ben Akozo also said plans are underway to provide security to qualified independent candidate Jacob Osei Yabua, who was denied a security early on. That person you mentioned, we did not provide because we had not even met the person. All right? Now, once he is now duly registered, and he's been elevated to that position. We will consider doing that. We will invite him at the appropriate time and look at his uh, circumstances and provide him with it because he's, he qualifies by this standard. Meanwhile, some of the disqualified candidates have vowed to go to court to compel the Electoral Commission to rescind its decision. We have security analyst Sunny Adib uh, joining us on the telephone lines for some discussions on this. Uh, good evening, sir, and thank you for your time. Good evening and good evening to your viewers. Mm, I know there are many people who might think that this move by the police service might be too soon or too harsh or perhaps unfair. What do you make of the decision? Thank you very much. Um, there are two sides to this issue, but it is important to first of all identify um, the nitty gritties or the facts of the matter before uh, uh, making conclusions. Um, first of all, we know for a fact that this was put uh, together as part of a wider scheme by the police service to ensure an incident-free election. And this was made categorically known by the IGP um, earlier this year. Um, it is also to manage the influence of um, macho men and vigilante groups uh, within the fold of political parties. But the fact of the matter is they were supposed to go to the presidential aspirants and their running mates. So as from the day the EC chair, led by uh, Mrs. Charlotte Osei, disqualified the mm. various political parties, the 12 political parties, that uh, 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 measure ceases. To, 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 to be enforced. Mm. So but, in that light, yeah. uh, I think um, it's a step in the right direction. It's in the right because, direction, right? Um, we, you know, this is something that was put together by the police administration for just the aspirants. On the other hand, um, it might also be contend that it is, it is quite premature um, because we still have some of the um, political parties heading towards court. And then um, I think the police would have had to exercise a bit of restraint until 
the final ballot papers are printed, printed with the uh, various political parties in there. If anything at all, it could have done um, in a systematic and gradual way. Mm. We know for a fact that um, the police service is lacking men. Uh, we have about 32,000 police officers in the country. That makes the police civilian ratio one police officer, officer to about 840 Ghanaians. And it's even more worrying in urban areas where the population is concentrated. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it would interest you to know that we have about, from the research we have conducted on the ground, about one police, the ratio is about one police officer to over 1,200 Ghanaians in urban areas. And that is quite worrying. There are no enough men and um, they have to be as a matter of fact. Right. Uh, Mr. Uh, so, Mr. Mr. Sani Adib, you did mention earlier that uh, the move to provide security detail for this uh, uh, presidential aspirants was also to discourage uh, the formation of uh, vigilante groups. But if uh, these aspirants are still contesting the matter in court, the police has withdrawn the security detail, will it be wrong now to see them go back to getting their own private security? No, at all. I mean, they cannot get private security because um, let us not lose sight of the fact that um, the, the Police Service Act 1970, to be specific, Act 350, Part 1, Section 1, and Subsection 1 and 2, is clear on the functions of the Police Service. And it is not just to prevent and detect crime or apprehend offenders but it is to maintain public order and the safety of persons and property. So it is still within the jurisdiction, right. the function of the police to ensure that every Ghanaian is protected. And see, as you can apply to the police. If you feel in one way or another your life is in danger, you can apply to the police and justify the fact that you would need protection. And it should be given to you. It doesn't always have... Um, to as it were be limited to presidential aspirants or, or political parties. So it is, not, it is no justification whatsoever for political parties to resort to uh, vigilante groups because right. in the first place it is illegal and you cannot uh, uh, take the law uh, uh, for granted. Right, uh, Mr. Sanyadi, we're grateful for your time. Thanks very much. Uh